now let's look at some of the some of the players in the cell division one of the most important players is chromosome let's look at its structure chromosomes are generally not visible in cells which are in g1 phase chromosomes are unwound they are loose and they they are not present as discrete structures when the cell divides decides to divide chromosomes become condensed and they become visible under the microscope chromosome basically has two components dna the genetic information and protein that is that is serving as a scaffold around around which dna is wound i'll show you a photograph in a second basically the dna length of dna in our cells is about 2 meters and the size of nucleus is 500000 times smaller so in order to put dna such a lo long dna in a such a small space we have to wind it around just like you can wind thread around a spool and even though the thread is very long if you wind it around the spool around a spool it will become a condensed structure so let's look at the structure of chromosome we have the dna as you can see on the screen it is wound around these little beads these beads are made up of proteins these special proteins are called histone proteins there's a special arrangement to it there are histones eight molecules of histones they form the bead and little more than one and a half turns of dna is wound around each of these beads another type of histone called h1 basically clamps the structure the dna is wound around these histone molecules and there is a certain part of dna that is not wound around these histones is called the linker dna the structure the protein eight protein molecules of histones and the dna basically is called a nucleosome these histones are positively charged as we know dna is negatively charged because of the phosphate group and in physiological conditions these histone proteins have a positive charge which allows dna to wrap around these molecules very tightly now let's look at another important component of cell division the centrosome and the microtubules that originate from the centrosome there are two types of microtubules the kinetochore microtubules that go and bind the chromosomes made up of dna and protein and other microtubules that are not bound to the microtubules these microtubules are attached to the centrosome the organizing center microtubule organizing center when the cell division happens we have to remember separate these two chromosomes two sets of chromosomes and force has to be generated we have already seen that microtubules are scaffolds or, or or the substance along which motor proteins can move force has to be generated the force is generated we will see a video of it too that force is generated between the microtubules which when the force is generated the two centrosomes are pulled apart or pushed apart resulting in two poles both containing one centrosome each and a set of chromosome in the next stage wall is formed between a membrane is formed between these two microtubules these two uh, sets of chromosomes and centrosomes resulting in two different cells next we will look at additional information about cell division